Hey, welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> We're back today. We're working on the Doodle Bastard. Now, I put way too much time into this thing last night. I thought it was just about ready to go. I tightened down all the bolts on it. I went through all the electrical. And then I discovered that the start button wasn't going to work. And then I discovered that when I shut the power off on the thing, flipping the little switch that I put in here, that doesn't shut the bike off. So I had to add a kill switch also. So I ended up gutting everything out of here, drilling some holes in the little box on the side, and got the thing working. There's not really much left to do on this thing except for, um, well, getting a seat mounted. And then I should be able to test drive it. But if you saw the opening of this video, you've seen that I've already attempted that. <laughs> so anyways, licky likey, comment, subscribe, pluck that dingle belly, and hopefully after we get back in the intro, we'll be riding this thing up and down the road a little bit more. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll hurt myself. I sure hope not. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Be back in just a minute. All right, well, we're back. I don't believe it. This thing is out of the garage. It's the first time it's even been on the ground in, I think, probably about four or five years. It's just, it's been a really, really long time. Of course, we got a truck coming up behind me now. <laughs> when I was pushing it down the driveway, I grabbed that rear brake, and that rear brake just uh, didn't seem to cut it. So here's hoping that this thing is, um, we'll just let him pass. <laughs> So as I was saying, when I first took this thing out and I started to roll it down the driveway, I grabbed that rear brake and it just didn't seem to be working adequately. I sprayed a little bit of brake cleaner on the rear disc there to see if it make any difference and it seemed to help. So we'll see what happens. The seat is just held on by some zip ties right now. Probably not the most safe thing, but I think for a little test ride, it's really not going to make that all that much difference. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Helmet. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know how far this microphone is going to go, but here's hoping that it goes far enough that you guys can see and hear me as I'm riding. forgetting it's not a mini bike it actually has a real clutch on it <laughs> and I'm looking and there's an air bubble in the line so um, I would think it should have gas just like it's running really lean I don't quite get what's going on here Either. 
we've still got a lot more. Better, but it's still pretty bad. Yeah, that rear brake ain't cutting it. We're gonna have to do something about upgrading that or uh, fixing it, modifying it, something. But it's back to the drawing board to get the um, fuel mixture set up. But for now, Switch won't turn it off. There it is. <laughs> Just stall it. <laughs> well, I will have to admit that was a ton of fun. And when the thing runs properly, it's going to be way more fun than that. That was, uh, yeah, that was something else. <laughs> Well, certainly not bad for a test ride. Um, I'm gonna call it a success. It needs some adjustments, needs some very, very minor adjustments. But for pit biking it at the car show, which is really what the goal was, because this is going to the show also this coming weekend, just a little bit of bloop bloop. I don't need to go too crazy. I don't need to win a speed contest. I'm gonna be darting around with his people, so I don't need to go fast. This will be just fine. I'm just gonna resecure that seat a little better than what it is. Other than that, I give this thing a double thumbs up. Now let's let that garbage man behind me do his job. <laughs> yeah, that was a blast. Yeah! <laughs>